In this video, we discuss the technique of filter sterilization, and we will go through step by step how to filter sterilize an aqueous solution. You will use filter sterilization to sterilize solutions that can't be subjected to heat via autoclave. For example, antibiotics and other thermally unstable organic molecules that are in aqueous solution are suitable for filter sterilization using the techniques we talk about here. Throughout, you should use all the standard principles of sterile technique that you have learned to perform this procedure. To perform this procedure, you will need a variety of materials and supplies. Those include the solution that you aim to sterilize, and this is listed in red because it's not kept sterile. You'll need a serological pipette and bulb. Those do not have to be kept sterile. You'll need a syringe and a plunger. Those do not need to be kept sterile. And then you do need to have a sterile filter and a sterile empty container, such as a centrifuge tube or a microtube, depending on your particular application. So you'll want to get all of these aligned in a sterile area of the lab. Once you have these, open up the sterile filter. Be sure to handle it from the outside as I'm doing here, not touching the sterile filter itself. Attach the syringe to it by twisting and then lay that off to the side, keeping the sterile filter inside that plastic sheath to protect it from contaminants. Then open up your serological pipettes and you will draw up the non-sterile liquid that you aim to filter sterilize. So this could be a solution of antibiotic, for example. So I am attaching here the bulb onto the pipettes I've loosened the cap on this container previously so that I can easily open the cap with one hand, holding that cap in one hand while I draw up the solution with the other using my serological pipette. Once I've done that, I am done with that original container, so I set it off to the side there. I pick up my sterile filtration apparatus, being careful again not to touch the bottom end post filtration of the filter. I dispense the liquid into the apparatus, keeping in mind that as I do this, there will not be liquid running through the filter until I come over and apply pressure. So I'm opening up the sterile container. This could be a microtube or it could be a falcon tube such as we're using here. Then I place the plunger into the top. I apply a steady force, not super fast, but over the course of several seconds like I'm doing here where it's a really fast drip dispensing into the receiving sterile container, pressing with consistent force until I have pressed the plunger all the way down and the dripping has stopped. You can see the dripping falling in at a very steady rate, not a constant flow, but just drip, 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 drip really steadily. You don't want to apply too much pressure or you can risk breaking the membrane of the filter. Now we have our sterile solution and we're ready to go.